what I <coughs> observed about Robert was the dedication and the concentration he had at 9 o'clock in the morning to teach. He had the same dedication at 10 o'clock in the night. He didn't compromise at any point. And I was trying to learn how to do DTR from books. I tried videos. I tried to learn from every source I could lay my hands on. I was doing DTR, but towards when two days ago, till two days ago, I was not very confident that my DTR was doing what people were telling me. So, and my friend was also telling DTR is not a panacea. So, that is where I thought DTR has got limited treatment <coughs> outcomes. But after this, what I saw here, what I saw the mistakes I was doing, and one of my failure cases, cases had come down all the way from 600 kilometers just to get uh, meet Robert. And today morning, after we did uh, DTR day before yesterday, he was totally relieved of all the symptoms which were remaining. So, thank you, Robert. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, very honestly, I think uh, Dr. Robert is a wonderful human being. He has the dedication, the commitment and the qualities that make a true teacher. I'm, I'm, I, I say this with the bottom of my heart because I have never uh, seen a person with so much of commitment towards teaching as well as making patients better. I think uh, to get these two qualities in a human being is a mark of a true doctor. To have learned the certification process under him, I am, uh, I think I am honored, I am uh, grateful to God that he sent me on the day of Guru Purnima, that is a day where the teachers are revered, respected and honored. It in fact started two days uh, before your visit. It was on Friday. Was here we came here on Saturday. Yeah. So I think uh, uh, the divine intervention that uh, Dr. Robert is with us and he's helped us. And I'm really overwhelmed. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, I'm honored. It's an honor to be standing in front of the gods for me, Dr. Prophet and Dr. Robert. Thank you so very much for teaching us. It's the words are limited to express my gratitude to you and to Dr. Kofula to what you guys have and especially what you have stood next to us and taught us. Probably you wouldn't have learned this, or at least I wouldn't have learned this in any, any other manner. Your commitment, your uh, not holding back of sharing is something which is remarkably out of order. You have not held back, not even a single thing of not sharing with us and keeping us in a loop where we need to run back to learn something. It's remarkable and thank you so very much. Uh, it's, a, it's been an honor and we look forward to uh, keep this name up and try our little best to do the best what we have learned to deliver it to our patients and to keep up the name of your efforts that you have put into us to teach this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You were the most committed observer. <laughs> you watched the dance. You watched every single one. He was, I think you were the last doctor except for um, uh, Kula's son. Right? So you watched all the other doctors. And that's a commitment because to stand there for the 10 hours or whatever <laughs> and not be doing it was a challenge. So I give you a lot of credit. But then when you sat down to do it, you had a great basis to begin. And that was really helpful. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, until I had this uh, hands-on chair site uh, program, I was not too confident about uh, doing executing the DTR treatment protocol. But the way you taught us with so much of 
patience, honesty, sincerity, your belief in the science uh, kind of has uplifted our confidence and also reinforced our belief in this science. Sir. And also, uh, the way you, I, I, I always thought that when you put this, these kind of patients on, it's going to tell us what I'm supposed to do, but it's not that. And then the way you handle the muscles, so the, the whole science behind this, it was uh, amazing. Yeah, so blessed, 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 truly blessed to have uh, worked uh, along with you, sir. Thank you so much for teaching us. The sad part is the patient is the loser. The patient is not given the best service, occlusively, because the technology has struggled to reach dentists like yourself, even in hands who want to use it, they can't always get out of it, but they're hoping to get out of it. And that's really why the training is so important, because it gives the operator and the dentist a chance to really understand what they need to do with it and how to execute uh, with it, and specifically this procedure. But you can take the skills you've learned, what the recordings mean, what the data means, how to look at those things, and use them with Conventional dentistry, it doesn't have to be solely the, the uh, muscular TMD patient.